What's up guys? It's Asiatic for Il Philly TV and it's another comic book Wednesday. These are my pull list for the 30th of January 2019. Sorry I'm a bit late. Um, yesterday I normally post my videos every Wednesday after I picked up my comics and I do a video straight away and talk about them. But yesterday I was a bit pushed for time. I live in England and um. I was doing my taxes basically it's um it's um cut off date to be submitted um I'm a self employed guy and I do my own taxes but yeah anyway um that's all done and now I'm back doing what I like instead of doing my taxes but yes um there's not a lot of good um well there are a lot of good books but there's not it's only a few releases um, this week I only picked up a few. Also, I was in a hurry and I didn't really have time to look through at the books. But um, this is the big one at the moment. Um, Spawn 293 because of the error. So I picked up a few a few of those ones. So I got the Matina cover. Also have this one. I really like the Todd McFarlane cover. And obviously the error one is in the black and white. So the black and white one is all supposed to be printed in black and white. But then there's loads of colors in it. So if you guys don't want to see it, look away now. But I'm going to show you some few pages in it. So you get that one there. If you guys, it's pretty colorful, all right. And there's a few more pages which is those guys so there's a few of them and it's been causing a lot of um, chaos in um, eBay but um, I follow key collectors shout out to key collectors and mill geeks um, comic Tom um, and then it says that it's not um, recall so the publishers are not doing a recall on this one so they're gonna let it stay normally they destroy it and stuff like that or put, put it back and um, they give them a replacement but this one is not getting recalled but it's still selling crazy on ebay and um yes i got a few i got a few of them so i got like around five i think like always like to buy a few one but who knows what's gonna happen with this um, probably not a lot but um, you know it's crazy a lot of people when there's an error like I got the dead rabbit one and the people went crazy for it so yeah I also picked up um, you know these are free Marvel previews and um, I have like the DC previews and I've been flicking through this one uh, since War of the Realms seems like it's gonna be a big event so if you guys been picking up a few marble comics um you know they've been doing a lot of um advertisement about it because there's gonna be a lot of tie-ins so from um uncanny x-man to thor to um unbeatable squirrel girl so there's gonna be a lot of tie-ins on that one and so make sure you look out for that one there's gonna be a big event and um yeah pick up your previews and check out what's coming and there's a lot of interesting books coming out okay let's move on um i picked up um justice league number 14 um ah uh, that's another extra of my copies I picked up one before but I thought okay this is a good issue and then let me pick it up another one and then Age of X-Men Alpha that's the Raza cover variant it's I didn't I did like the the also the normal cover which is that one but I thought like Raza is doing amazing um, covers especially with lo all those wrestling covers I didn't get the wrestling covers but um, I thought that was also good, but I only picked up that one. Next up is um, Shadow Play. That's uh, Scout Comics. That's also um, in the same uh, universe as Tabity Bunny. 
it's quite a good comics good artwork on that one uh, i like it i like it but i don't know if i can continue reading on that one but check them out scott scout comics are releasing a lot of good ones at the moment and it's pretty hard to get especially in um uk because it's very limited so i also picked up another copy of um, guardians of the galaxy the normal cover i got loads of the variant ones i got the Groot one the parel one and um a few other ones but i forgot <laughs> to pick up the the um, cover a so i got it and pick it up next one is the flash number 63 that's also a variant cover i thought that's nice I don't know, I've been picking up a lot of Flash, but I haven't been, um, to be honest with you guys, I haven't been reading them, but the covers are always amazing. I always try to pick up um, the cover, especially when it's a good artwork, you know? Next up, Alterna Comics. I've been digging Alterna Comics um, for... A few issues now I picked up a few of them and I thought this quite amazing because a dollar fifty you know you can't go wrong with it but the paper inside it's this one it's not bad but a lot of them are kind of like the old paper back in the day so the flimsy kind of like you know paper that you wrap your bread around it and stuff like that well that's what they do in Philippines before those old newspapers kind of stuck but you know for one pound fifty you can't complain really it's quite it's quite good and then last issue of marvel knights that's number six you know um this is the final issue and um i thought it's gonna be a lot more to it but um it kind of like left me kind of like wondering and more questions and it's you know, the, it it was a big promise in the beginning, and uh, the artwork is good. But and then you know, it's just I don't know. Donny Cates, I I normally like his style. Well, I still do, but you know, in here he kind of like felt a little bit short. I think, especially as well, he's been doing a lot of releases and stuff. Sometimes you know, quality is always better than quantity. And um, the moment I think he's having a writer's block or something. But anyway, that's the last issue. Old Lady Harley. That's a five mini series. Um, and this one is um, number four. You have um, Old Man Aquaman. Old, old Aquaman. You know, there's been a lot of um, issues. I think, you know, that you should... Um, get this one because um, like old man Logan like I said you know old lady Harley all these old superheroes I think at one point they're gonna do something with all this you know old man Hawkeye um, I mean on the third issue of this one you have old man Bane or the Bane twins and um, old man Joker so there's a lot of them coming through and uh, it's pretty interesting because you know they bound to do something about them so keep an eye on them guys and um yeah grab them while they're cheap okay um true believers conan is a reprint um i can't remember what reprint it is haven't done my research but you know this one sometimes with the reprint there's a lot of keys you know, especially like if they're printed back in the Silver Age or in the 70s and stuff like that. Make sure you check them out because sometimes they can, you know, cost quite, They shut, um, the value shoots up because even though they're a pound or something, sometimes you can't get the old issue anymore and people want to have a reprint of them and the true believers are good for it, especially when they're very cheap. Next up, nearly to a thousand guys. This is 997 Batman Detective Comics. Tomasi has been doing good with this run, and I'm really, really excited for the thousand. But I've been picking it up all the way through. 
and it's really nice. By the way, I dropped um, Batman, Tom King, I don't know, man, um, for a couple of issues. But the last issue, Tom King was not the one writing it. It's another writer. But uh, I took it out of my pull list because, um, you know, I'm getting, like, very tired of it, especially even with the Heroes in Crisis, one that he's writing about. I don't know what's happening. But at the moment, I have the whole run from, I think, from, like, um, not the whole run, but uh, from like I think it's 38 from uh, Matthew um, until until now 60. So there's about 30 books that I picked up all o all the way through to Batman, and then I just decided to stop it on my pull list, and uh, I actually put them on eBay for auction. So if you guys live in England and you want the Batman run, check out my eBay links will be down below. Um, Dead Man Logan, I've been enjoying that one. That's the third um, issue. I also have the Wolverine um, variant, but um, I forgot to pick it up. It's in my shop. I'm just, I just need to go there and pick it up maybe next week so I can show you guys. And then um, Crimson Lotus, um, Dark Horse Comics. This is three of five. I've been enjoying that series. The artwork is really good on that one. So like, you know, Minola verse and um, it's really good and it's only short one and if you guys been living under a rock and if you don't know um, Hellboy is coming out with a new film so there's a lot of hot stuff when it comes on the Hellboy world and um, yeah check it out okay just a few more okay that one Black Panther versus Deadpool and a new appearance Panther Pool I think um correct me if I'm wrong um I thought that's that's a good one <laughs> I'm really stoked about that one you know Deadpool has been like um what do you call this one he's been um mixed with a lot of different one like um, Gwen Stacy, you got Gwen Pool, and then now you got Black Panther, Deadpool. So, you know, he's very, very popular. And, you know, he's, they've been coming out of a lot of character with mix up with Deadpool. And I thought this is, this is a fun one, especially here. They are fighting in here. And, you know, he's trying to get a vib uh, vibranium uh, metal. And they end up having a fight. But, yeah, that's a good character. And I hope that will be big and you know pick it up first appearance next up fight club number three i'm a bit confused about this one normally you know dark horse and fight club you know they they do quite um good story but the intro this first book i'm i'm a bit left confused um if you guys have read it already let me know what you guys think but yeah, it's a bit confusing for me at the moment. There's a lot of different panels and different, you know, kind of like story and then they kind of like tied in together. But for me, it doesn't make sense at the moment. But maybe because I was rushing and I'll have a look at it again and um, see. Anyway, Fight Club number three. Trying to be quick with these books, like I said before. Art Germ Cover, that's another hot book. You know, it's not as hot as it is with the, you know, the Batgirl. Um, I think it's 20, I can't remember, 26 or 27. I can't remember the, the famous one and the Harley Quinn one that was just recent. That Those are hot books. But this one is not bad. You still see a lot of them on normal cover price. So grab them, guys, while you can, while they're on cover price. Because who knows? You know, a lot of people, especially, you know, I deal a lot of eBay stuff and I check that regularly. Sometimes you see them all in cover price and then just something's going to happen and then suddenly they all shoot up in value. So just make sure, guys, you know, you grab at least a copy and, you know, for cover price, you don't pay too much on it. Next up, Captain America number seven. You know, I haven't been picking this up, but um, 
Tanishi Coat is the one who's writing um, Black Panther as well, I think. And um, in this issue, there's a new team appearance um, of all the lady, um, lady team superheroes. I think it's the Legion or something like that. And I thought that's also a good cover. And I picked up the Phil Noto variant as well. I've been picking up a lot of the Phil Noto ones. And I really, really like them. This one is a bit... <laughs> sorry for my OCD. It's a bit stained there. But yeah, I've been picking them up. I'm really loving his art for the 80th anniversary. And they always sold out, especially in UK. It's only a few of them always. Um, next up, only a few books to go. Avengers number 13. If you guys saw my last video... Also picked up the variant cover, but I haven't picked up the normal cover. Because, uh, sorry, <laughs> that pardon me. And if you guys don't know, when it comes to like normal covers and variant covers, when a lot of collectors normally go for the um, go for the normal covers in a long run, you know, I know. You know, I love collecting variants, but that's just me, you know. A lot of people, when it comes to, like, first appearances or, you know, books that will go up in value, is normally, normally, it's the first cover, the cover A, our people are more familiar with. But me, I always like to have the variants that no one have, because normally I don't really sell my comics that, that often, uh, unless if I have to make room, but... This one, that's why I have to pick it up. Okay. Let's just move this few bits. By the way, guys, this is my cover of the week. Batgirl 31. If you guys haven't checked my old video, I did a variant cover, top 10 variant cover of 2018. So what I'm going to do for um, end of the year, I know it's still a long way to go. I want to do a, a top 10 variant covers again, and I'm going to do a top 10 normal covers based on, on my collection, what I have. And um, this one will be a good pick. Okay, let's move along. Thunderbolts by uh, Dynamite, Peter Cannon Thunderbolt. I had a flick through it. Um, hold on, guys. Um, give me a sec. Apologies, guys. The mailman just arrived. And I got a new package for some comics that I bought on eBay. It's actually one of the best package that I saw. Normally, they all like crumpled up in a little envelope that says do not bend it's funny because when when the postman see that he he purposely bends the comics but anyway back to the release um thunderbolt peter cannon dynamite i had i don't know there's a lot of different variants on this one i don't know why i didn't pick it up but yeah hex wives Vertigo. This is the fourth issue. It's been pretty good this uh, issue and the character is good but um, fourth issue is maybe like going down a bit now. Um, I don't know. Um, I need the refresher and maybe see how it ties in and stuff like that. Um, like I said, King. I don't know what's happening to him. Heroes in Crisis number one. It feels like, you know, they try to drag the story too much. Especially like if you guys have been reading Magic Order, it's a five issue mini series, but it's packed. It's compact, you know, it's like, especially like for example, um, Gideon Falls by Lemire, five issues. It's, it's really condensed. It's so much rich writing and detail. But Tom King is like, with the, sorry, I've been trying to, uh, I really can't like, stop myself talking about Tom King at the moment where his Batman issue and now this, you know. He drags along so um, always the story and he repeats a lot of words and stuff like that. I know, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I know a lot of people love Tom King's writing and stuff like that, you know. But at the moment, it's kind of like, 
you know, when you've seen it once and then, you know, his type of writing and then you see it over and over again in different types of books, it's like you feel like there's no variety when it comes to his writing. But anyway, that's just me. Um, weird or wired? Um, I thought that's weird. But um, that's the issue number one. It's a, it's a good comic, good artwork. I flicked through it. I haven't read it yet. But I know it's about this detective that he can't die. And, you know, he um, solved different cases and stuff like that. There's also a Lemire variant. And um, I didn't pick it up. I don't know why. Should have. Because I love Jeff Lemire. Okay, Terrifics. Talking about Lemire. He's the writer for this one. Terrifics number 12. This is a homage Beatles. If you guys are a Beatles fans, you know, especially me living in England and stuff, this is a terrific issue. I don't even I don't even read this, but I thought, you know, I'll pick it up because the music and comics, man, they they click together. Same as video games and comics. And terrifics, um Colin Bunn. Um, the Empty Man, number three. This is a great, great comics. I've, I've been loving this one. I, I've been enjoying this one. Um, yes, it's amazing. So number three, pick it up. And last but not the least, Doctor Strange. I have the normal cover. This is the 10th issue. And that's a Nolan variant, and I thought that is an amazing. If Art Germ, if Art Germ one is you know not the pick of the week, this will be the pick of the week, cause it's just I don't know, guys. Check this out. It's just an amazing cover, and I think Doctor Strange is such a good book. But the thing is, it's underrated. Not I don't see a lot of people really, you know, raving on about. Doctor Strange, um, but I think this one is a fantastic issue. You know, the artwork is good, amazing story. I just, especially the artwork, you know, normally I love, you know, um, very um, beautifully drawn artwork when it comes to like comics. And I think like Doctor Strange one is really good, but this is, um, you know, a good issue. A 400 is a milestone issue or number two. 10 check it out there's also uh, a appearance there of Phoenicus. that's a new character it's kind of like a weird guy um, thing and then he can like put together all different stuff and make it like as a weapon or something like that but yeah 400 issue and those are my books so thank you guys for um, tuning in if you guys haven't subscribed yet Please subscribe. It will help me out or like the video. I will try to do the best as I can when it comes to new releases. I'm also going to be doing a lot of different um, reviews and stuff. I just need to have more time. But now within this month, coming of February, is I have a bit of a light um, workload when it comes to the business. So... I think I can able to concentrate on, um, you know, doing more videos. And yes, that's it, guys. Thank you very much. Um, see you next week for another release. Be safe. Catch you guys soon. Peace.